<laughs> how did it end? Well, I mean, Honestly, my, my deal was done. My deal was really done. Yes. And we just didn't it want to continue. Done at what point? It was like the paperwork, my years, yes, know, everything no, no, was no. done. What I'm saying is, it was mm. done at what point? Now, when I mean what point, I mean mm. what record would you use to, um, what song of yours at mm. the time was mm. hot around the time the deal was done? I, I think in the EME, I didn't really drop so many songs. I just worked on songs. I worked on um, the, I also, uh, I, Worked with everybody else on um, the EME album we had that time. Yes. Then yes. I, I think I only dropped like two or three singles when I was in EME. It was like Take Care of Me, um, Mukulu. It's like four or five actually, four, four singles. With them the way one. you refer to Mukulu like it was just one of those random songs. No, no, it's a dope, it's a dope song. Just I'm saying it, you know, because it's my song. It's my song. So, yeah, but um, yeah, I, that's how my journey went with them. And when it was like, when the deal was done, and everybody just had to go their way, you know, because I had to, had to. I needed. I needed. Did I you want to leave. I needed a different journey, and Banky actually wanted me to have a different journey, you know, because I wanted to be in charge, be in control. You get. I wanted to because I. I know How what long were you signed for? I think four or five years or so. Yeah, because we actually didn't sign paperwork while we were in EME till like two two years after we not signed. But we had already we had like an understanding and agreement. Yeah. So and we were still following that agreement yes. till we now did the paperwork after like a year or two or so. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah, you were saying about your journey that you needed. Yeah, yeah. I, I needed I needed to be in control and in charge of I I was always one of my frustrations was I have to get a yes from somebody <laughs> for it's for a sound that I want to pass out, yeah, that I want to put out. Because sometimes it could be that that person is not even in that headspace to listen to that kind of music, so he mm -hmm. can't permit it. You get me? So I needed. So when that's why when I came out, I was always releasing what I wanted to be released when I wanted my fans to hear. You get so that's the freedom I needed as at that time, you know. And every everything was cool. Everything was fine. You know, it's just that from the media we were seeing something different. Yeah, but we were cool. That's <laughs> you get? what I'm. That's where I'm trying to get to. Yeah, we were cool. Definitely, there's always going to be bad blood when it comes to the end of a business. You get me? You no, know, was there and, bad blood between you and him, or was that just media p? There was no bad blood. I, I think I was just in a space that time of a lot of toxic stuff happening. So everybody just felt like, oh, you know, if I do banky, you <laughs> can't so. But we were all cool. As a matter of fact, we still do business together till now. I guess so. And you and Wiz? Well, me and Wiz are cool. You know, we we we've seen each other a couple of times, we've settled and all, but you know. Was there an issue before? What was the issue? What was really the issue? I mean, the honestly? issue, the issue honestly, for that time, you see. The thing is, let me first put this. I don't like talking about this Wiz issue, but I'm just going to give you a pass because you know how Wiz's fans are. You next thing now, oh, la, 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 la. One, came on, one, le one legit came on my page and cursed my mom out. I'm not even joking. Bro, that's taking it too far, then. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, so for the Wiz issue, I think, I don't know what the problem was that day. I think I remember I was doing like a, a, a Q&A. Is that what they call it? Yes, Q&A. Question and answer. Yes, yeah, yes, Q&A yes, yes. on... Um, Twitter and some somebody asked me about Wiz and I'm like, oh my brother is busy for me. Next thing, my what for? Oh my busy. brother is too like maybe somebody was asking, oh why haven't we done? And I wrote jokingly, oh my brother is too busy for me or something like that. I, I think that's why I wrote. Also, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but yeah. Next thing, I just saw, I didn't. I was off. I was not online. Somebody, my friend just called me and said, what thing you do is? I was like, he's saying they insult your pan down, bro. For real? I was like, damn. You know, even the replies, it wasn't me. It was my girlfriend. I said, that time. Because <laughs> I just wanted to not say anything. Why didn't you call him? Hmm? Bro, I, I think you I tried to call him. Yeah, apart from that, you like, you don't insult me now. This is something that you'd have just called me and said, what the fuck is that? You get me? Yeah. But, you know, I was insulted and stuff like that. But it could be that he was in a bad mood because I still wonder what happened. <laughs> it, was done. it could be that maybe he was in a bad mood and he missed understood and all or maybe it's my fault on my own part the way I put it <laughs> how did you put it is that how exactly I can't remember it? it was years ago bro <laughs> I can't remember how I put it but I think I said something my brother is too busy for me <laughs> like that mm. probably that's I know that line was there but yeah we're good we're in a good space now last time I saw is you know as a matter of fact we even tried to record a song we didn't finish it you know and it's all love man it's all love as a matter of fact um, when my mom died he checked on me if I was okay. So big shout out to him, man. Got you. Now, moving from 
all that all that period mm. to you recording music. I mm. think there was there was I can't exactly put together what the timeline was, but there yeah. was a time where there was I won't say radio silence, but not enough music from you, mm. right? For what time was that again? I said I can't put a timeline to it. Oh, but there was a time where there was a bit of silence or space, yeah, from you. Yeah. Not too many or not as much records at the mm. time. Um, which brings me to um, what would you say are the worst set of challenges you faced in the industry in general that must have or at some point hindered your creative process in terms of making music and putting music out? Um, I would say as at that time, it had to be putting together a team because that time it was just me and Osagi. <laughs> so there was no team. We used Even to... after... Banking? Even after banking, me and Osagi was still working before I went to Baseline. So it was just, it was, we didn't have like a team, enough hands on on deck. So we had to like be doing our things ourselves, you know, asking for favors because we couldn't afford a lot of things to, you know, music is really expensive. Yes, it is. Very. So we had to, you know, always ask for favors and all that kind of stuff. So honestly, that affected me because also there was no funds on ground. So and if there's no funds, you cannot mobilize nothing. You <laughs> get so you have to. So I, I, I we were also looking for deals. So that's why it took that long. I because I even remember when I when I did Shake Body video, you know, it was Olamide that gave me the money to shoot it. <laughs> Bro, yeah. it's the first I'm I've, I've said it. that before. I've tweeted about it before. Yeah, I did know. not see the tweet. Sorry. Yeah. So I. But please tell so, me about it. Uh, how? When, how I, when, I, when I left EME, I was homeless, bro. <laughs> so I, I had nowhere. I was, bro, I was caught in. I don't even know how I passed through all these phases, bro. <laughs> For real. I still don't know. Big shout out to God, man. So, um, yeah. So I didn't have where to stay. I was caught in in one hotel with some some of my guys back then. Big shout out to them. Uh, I would have called one of them's name. We're, we're beefing at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just going to just gonna skip that. But shout out to him. But though, I still appreciate it. But I don't going. think so, bro. He, he took it too far, <laughs> bro. So, uh, but okay. yeah. So, but shout out to him, though. You know, he still, still, he's still part he of my story. He still did what he did. Yeah. yeah. And I just randomly got a call again <laughs> from my like, hello. But this, this time you had a phone to put your SIM in. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course I had a phone. So I got a call. I was like, who is this? I was like, um, it's Olamide. I was like, which Olamide? You say Badu no? I say, hey, how far now? He goes saying, but I did hear one song up and down. They could, I say, person just the time saying, are you sing them? I say, yeah. He say, shake body. He say, who produce them? I told him JP Zoo. I think he's, he asked for his number, for JP Zoo's number. So then, you know, I say, ah, why, why you never shoot this video now? What's in the album? I say, brother, <laughs> I did go through many things <laughs> for a video mm -hmm. right now. I don't know when till I get money. And I said, okay, you know what? I'll call on limited early for you. He said, but you know, what's your plan? Like, what budget are you targeting? And I said, I don't know, bro. I'm, I don't, I've never shot a video with my own money, so I don't know. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'll send you some money now. You send me your account, I'll send you money. I'll also speak to Anita Eli, but you call him. <laughs> yeah. So, next thing, like joke, like joke, a few minutes, I just see a lot. How much? <laughs> bro, I can say, bro. bro <laughs> no, I can't talk about it, bro. But you tell you already telling us the story. Yeah, you said, bro, like you just told he, us he said, the video. What's greater I, I, than that? I can't remember how much it was. Was it small? Exactly. Or no, was it no, plenty? it was like I think it was up to one M or between seven hundred and one M. But moving on. That's just as he for gave you. Me, yeah, to pay to do video. <laughs> not to huh. not to keep it to myself. Got you, got you. And he told me, please don't tell anybody. <laughs> like he I bro, I'm I'm said, sitting on this chair and I've heard that from like seven. He million. said, Please don't tell anybody. And I was like, Okay, I won't. So he said, and please stay close to God, pray all the time. Yeah. And he, he said, nice one. And he turned off the phone. And um, yeah, so what happened next? My brother, that money, whew, because I was owing a lot of people, bro. You didn't shoot wait, the now, video? No, wait, wait, no, let me get to, let me get, I'm not done. Yeah, I did shoot the video. I did shoot the video. So I remembered, so I chopped the money, I chopped like, like, over 60% come out. So the remaining one now, I see, oh boy, the money don't go. That's about 400 gone. Four to... <laughs> to 600 six. or so. Or to five, rather. I was like, oh boy, what's thing I'm going to do? So I now remember that there's one of my childhood friends, Stiles, that used to do all those CGI, used to shoot videos. He used to always show me the videos he's shooting and I know he was really good. 
as at that time, with this, what he was shooting in Kaduna is what people were paying a lot of money for in Lagos. Really? So I was like, Stars, how far now? Do you want to come to Lagos? He was like, yeah, why not? I said, bro, I don't have where to stay. I was squatting with some people. You come squat with me too. <laughs> he was like, no problem, no problem. Squats I'll bring my... They squat, squat oh, my brother. <laughs> so I told my guys that, oh, there's this guy. I told them what he does. They were like, ah, why not now? Anything to keep the hustle going. Let's go. So he pulled up and I told him, bro, all I have it's 150k. <laughs> 150k is six kilo. How do we want to do that? I said, my brother, I don't know. We just have to do it. <laughs> because after this 150k, I don't know when next money will come. Because I don't get show. I don't get any song out. So any big song out, there was no show. And of course, like, as I know they hear me again now, the people don't really reason me again. <laughs> like I'm normal level. The industry know they reason me. I mean, there's some, still some people that showed me love. Yeah. But yeah, after the meeting, thing, everything just went down for me. So, and the only person that had my back was Osage, man. Like, she was there. She's, Sago. she's... Sago is a G. Yeah, she's intelligent, bro. Like, she's... she's a, a lot of things I know in the music business, I learned from her. Facts. As her, as her artist, And a you know? ton of other people. Yeah. So, anyways, um... Yeah, so I told Osage also, she was like, hmm, skills, skills. <laughs> Anyhow, Sha, we can't go. Then my guy and I said, okay, location. When I remember when I went to this Nepal house. That like, Nepal house. So I went there. It and I went to Clarence Peter's house. So normally people would just book the place and just do that. And me, I went to, I said, I want to see the manager. I went to the manager. I told him that Baba, I can't remember how much you paid him, but it was less than 50K. And I said, Baba, wow. I told him everything. I showed him news, bro. I had to, I had to guilt trip him. <laughs> you hear me? So I showed him, I said, Baba, see what I had to go through. I go into blog, showed him. He now asked me how old I was. I told him at that time. He was like, what? He's like, ah. he said, okay, how can I help? And I said, Baba, I want to rent your place for a video shoot. He now said, okay, this is the amount they charge. But if we come around evening and shoot tonight, so after they finish the normal day, then he'll just give us that space to do whatever we want to do. I said, Baba, thank you so much. Then I remember I called Stans and Stans, the next thing now, uh, Vixens, dancers. I said, oh boy. <laughs> and I called one of my guys. His name is Sani. He used to dance with Kafi. And I told him that, please, I don't have money. But I need a favor. Please, can you tell your dancers to let me run this thing? And he did it for free. He, he just told me, no problem, wow. skills. Say, I got you. He did it for me for free. He got his dancers. I remember that. Then, um, yeah, the day of the video shoot, bro. If you see that video, even you go to laugh, say, wait be this. <laughs> yeah, like I see. But the good part of that video, that video is still one of my biggest inspirations because I remember everything that what happened that day. Everybody came there to show love. So where the unlimited LA? Where allow me this to make a call? Come on, I know I feel I for the unlimited LA. <laughs> now stands like uh, because he didn't say only unlimited LA. He said whatever I want to do. You know, oh, okay, got you, got you. Oh, I thought he said specifically. No, because call. but I think that time he was always working on unlimited LA. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, well, I didn't call him unlimited LA. I went straight to um stands. Stands, and you know we shot the video. I remember when I shot the video, I was like, damn. This video looks. The video was, it was bro, good. If they won't put it on tape, no, though, but that time it was low budget, bro. So no, they didn't. But, you like the video? Yeah, what are you, bro? I, I didn't like. I didn't like the video, but I didn't care. I was. I was like, bro. Yeah, guy, as long as say we day inside the video, we they dance, they perform the song. That's yeah, what that matters. Looking for <laughs> Steven Spielberg type beat, my brother. <laughs> so um, yeah, we. Sh I remember we shot that video with just one light, bro. One light, one big light. <laughs> we didn't have all this kind of stuff. It was just one big light that they were holding. <laughs> bro, that's how we shot that video. Oh, then Stans did some all those VFX things inside the video, bro. Yeah, that's that's the Yo, story. <laughs> that's, yeah, man. That's my brother, man. We've been. I mean, my Kony Badger video, he shot it. So mm. yeah, We're which here. is not out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. No, okay. <laughs> and it's special. Wait. Can't wait. Can't it's wait. Special. Um, what's it called? Now signing with Base Baseline. Yeah. Was it Baseline? Mm. The gist was. Oh, baseline came with two trillion dollars. No, I'm mm. exaggerating. I mean, they mm. came with a lot of money. Mm. Oh, they bought skills, a house, and gave him car and all of that stuff. But did that actually happen? Yeah, they did give me money. Huh. The baseline was it a actually. Lot of money? Then it was good. It's money that I've never had in my accounts before. <laughs> it's, that, it's the first big money for accounts I've never had in my I've ever had in my life. As my first millions. Mm. Was given to me by baseline, honestly. Mm. Again, so, um, yeah, they gave me a car, house. Um, they did everything they were, the label was supposed to do. 
But you know how it is, the relationship um, journey is, is not always going to be smooth, What happened bro. with that one? No, there was how like, uh, for me, there was just not enough people in the company that understood the business. Because, huh. I mean, it was owned by oil moguls, bro. <laughs> you get me? They don't, they're not, they just wanted to branch into that. So that was where the misunderstanding happened. You know when there's too many people that are in between? You know, as the thing will be now. So the frustration was just too much. And of course, when my deal was done, you know, they let me go. And it was, it's been great <laughs> so far. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Um, now, moving to, um, uh, what's the name of this record? Uh, the one, is it the one with Burner Boy? Temper, yeah. Temper. Yeah. Bro. That's one of my favorite records from yeah, you. Yeah, big shout, big shout out to Burner, man. <laughs> that, how did that record come about? Man, so, you know, I've always known Burner even before he blew up. Like, I used to hear about Burner and Potako. Anytime I go to Potako, you know, I'll turn you the radio. Yeah. So, we, the day we were supposed to meet, I was at Lyric Studio in Potako. You now told me Bona is coming. So, before Bona, I had a flight to catch. Had I couldn't wait for Bona. Had he blown up by that no, time? No, he was still... Grinding, bro. <laughs> he was still. Um, he was still. Uh, he was what, still. What was Burner Boy's first name? No, no, no. He was Burner Boy there. Oh, he was Burner Boy. He was already. known in Potako. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. But he was not known like in Nigeria at that time. So that I was eventually supposed to meet him. So you know, the love has always been there. When we finally met, you know, it was cool. We're not. We're not like close friends, but you know, there was always love. You <laughs> get when we see each other. Yeah. And all. So randomly, I I think I released Tempo Original, and I I, I think I can't remember where we met. It was a club. And Bona said, oh, but you get one song while here. And I said, which song? He couldn't, he was just, he now started singing the melody. Bang, 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 bang. And I said, oh, temper. And I said, half an hour. See, show how smooth on I'm now. I was like, okay, cool. You know, so I, I remember I hit up JP Zoo. And I said, please, I need you to come help me record Bona. And we went to Bona's house. And, and like, Bona just, it was supposed to be a verse that Bona would record. But Bona, Bona now started freestyling. And I said, please, turn on this mic. Just everything way they talk, because you know Bona doesn't write, he just, I said everything way they talk, just record them. Let's go. He was just recording, recording. He recorded so many things. I was like, okay, I'm done. He said, yeah, excuse me. I said, just give me, make a carry and go house. I go <laughs> arrange jam. I go bring and come back. Because when we, you know, I, I had one or two joints, bro, I was really high. <laughs> like, I was high, bro. So I was like, I can't think right now, but let me just go home with this. And I would, um, Get back to you. Yeah. So I remember I went home. I had my engineer Mila at that time. Yeah. So I told I told me like, let's come to my room, man, with the studio. Cause I loved my room. My room was so big, bro. It's like my room, my bedroom that time was like three of this space. It's big. <laughs> bro, you can have a lounge in my bedroom. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so I told him to bring the studio in my room to my room. So we're there. And I arranged the track. So I arranged the track and I went to Bonner's house and I played it for him. When Bonner had this, he said, oh boy, he's this kid. He's this kid. Be like, now you got to arrange my next song. <laughs> you know, and, you know, Bonner loved it. And I remember we went to shoot the video and Bonner said, we have to do another one again. We recorded another song again that we released, but we didn't push that one. But because Tempa was like the forefront. So we just, so yeah, that was how that track was made. And it was just love too. It was just all love. Bonner came for the shoot, did everything, smooth sail. Bona promoted with me. Like, Bona is one of the collabos that I did that I actually loved it because he was part of every journey. <laughs> yeah. Like, even the, he was even posting before I post. <laughs> and, I, and I was doing, like, he was showing me mad love. So big mm. shout out to Bona. Yeah. Have you guys spoken in recent times? Yeah, man. I met Bona, I ran into Bona, um, yeah, at a party, right? Yeah, we saw each other. And as a matter of fact, I think he was the one that even was jumping. I was like, ah, Bona, because me, with everything where they happen now, I say, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't gas accent and say, oh boy, am I in your good? Uh, this thing or your bad? <laughs> boy, boy, he kiss you. He said, what do you do now? I said, I just did check. <laughs> he said, 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 let's move from that. Let's yeah. move from that. Now, um, another jam of mine mm. that I, I heard first and I knew was going to be an instant smash. Mm. How do you say booty in your life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the soundtrack to a lot of married men's lives. Yeah, even a, a lot of... <laughs> Funny enough, a lot of females, man. No, it was for <laughs> a lot of females. Yeah, it I made, was. I made when it I for the females. When I say married men's life, <laughs> what are you talking about? That's all they wanted to see. 
that. Yeah, man, that that's that song, man. Big shout out to Chris B. Chris B made the song. Um, he he was the one that actually brought, came up with the idea of how mm. do you say booty in your language. And I remember I, he used to be in Bagada, so I hit him up that yo, I need bro, I love making music. I'm even trying to chill now. This is like two days. I've not gone to the studio. Normally every day, bro. Even if, if I'm not doing it, I go to the studio, be. Be listening be. to beats and record. Any which ways, um, I went to Chris B and he told me he had this idea. I was like, play it for me. So he played just the beat and he said, how do you say that? He was doing different kind of things. And I said, no. We'll say, how do you say then let the beat breathe? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So uh, he recorded, uh, we recorded um the deep voice and we tuned it to make it deep. Then I went back home, I recorded it and sent it back. I remember Chris B kept calling me back. Yo, this song is fire, bro. Then uh, I went to, I decided to want, uh, I, <laughs> I went to London for One Africa Music Fest and um, I decided to want to shoot the video there. <laughs> And uh, I remember we were in the same hotel room with every other artist, Sakodi and all. So I was at this bar in the hotel watching football because it was a game that day. And Sakodi just was at the bar too. So he was like, ah, Scales, what's up, man? What's good? Because we've been trying to make songs, but it wasn't, there was no, it just wasn't possible. The timing wasn't just... Yeah, the timing was bad. So I was like, um, get one jam, save, I want to play for you. He said, hey, play now. And I played it from my phone. He just heard it. He's like, Scales, say no more. Next thing, I, I went out, um, I went out to do some shopping and I came back. I checked my, I just got a voice note. Sorry, like I got like a, you know when you send the, he sent the song through WhatsApp. Yes. I played it. I was like, what? When did you do it? He said he just went to the room and just did it. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, car. Because I was leaving the next morning and the oh boy, now nah, block. And bro, I was independent artist, man. <laughs> yes, man. So, um, and I told him, okay, you know what? I shot the video because I had shot the video already. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to come to Ghana. I'm not going to release the original. This remix, it was so, the one with Sakodi was a remix actually. Wow. So I was like, um, I'm going to just release the video with Sakodi. I told my team, everybody was cool with it. I went to Ghana, I shot Sakodi's part, infused it into the original one yes. already. And you know, that's how the song was made. <laughs> Bro, but you see, they accept, I think, People don't really understand the level of acceptance for that record. Mm. Even Temper as well. Mm. It was a monster record mm. in East Africa, in parts everywhere, of Africa. Bro, that everywhere, was, everywhere. No, no, no. In parts that, yeah, we know say, oh, Nigeria, get ground. But yeah. it was dominating, dominating. Yeah. You see random party videos of your guys well, hanging out now, and they're playing random, that. Yeah. And it's still going. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. But I mean, that's the power of music, bro. That's the power of music. Great music and great ideas, you know, yeah. ideas that can be there forever. Like, Bro, this not, to, not, to brag, not to this brag, but songs like, about, okay. so, not to brag, but songs like Shake Body, I don't think it will ever, ever fade, bro. <laughs> bro. It will never fade. That's why, you, for me, I believe in concepts. You get me? How do you say booty in your language? I know a lot of people ask that. I ask that question every time, bro. <laughs> Get that's why wow. I believe so the music I make. Line. That's your pickup line. No, oh, no, no, you used, no. sorry, sorry, that's you're my, married now. That's my, that used to be your pickup line. Yeah, that's my crazy side. Not <laughs> that's my crazy side. <laughs> that's my crazy side. I know for a fact that I'm a crazy person. <laughs> no, when I say crazy, not like psycho. Mental, I know. What I mean, you mean crazy know, like bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> yes. You don't want to cast yourself. Yeah. In front of Before they say he said he's a crazy person. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um. Moving to 2022, mm. um, you still, I mean, it's not, there's no particular, there's no distinct thing you hear and you say, that scales, because mm. you seem to be very experimental. Mm. But one thing that's also <laughs> weirdly distinct, mm. without the distinction, is it's different. Yeah. Right? Mm. Koni Baje in particular, it gives me your, your, um, Jamaican hardcore yeah. beat pattern, you know, mm. dancehall beat pattern. You mm. know? But that's not what it is, regardless. Mm. You know, it's just how do you how do you decide on how do you and J P will decide on which and what to go with and what to record or the type of beats you're going to jump on. Okay, so um, I just every year I just wake not like I just wake up every year and make a plan that okay this is what I want to sound like all through this year <laughs> you hear me really yeah I always say that because I believe you're not supposed to be in the same place every time you're supposed to switch yeah. <laughs> you hear me if not what's the whole icing on the cake that you're trying to <laughs> you hear me so for me 
I just um I listen to beats a lot because for me first things first the beat has to be solid. If the beat is not solid, I don't even waste my time gotcha. <laughs> to record. I'll just look gotcha. up, understand? Or I'll change the song to something else. So I listen to the beat, then I try I try different flows. I don't I don't write also. I just whatever just comes off the top. I just put it down because I feel like that's how music should be. Because when it's written, I feel like when when I say written, when you sit down, you compose too much. You get the the the, the essence is the taken genuine, out. Genuine, um, no, what's the word? What's the word? You want people to relate to it, so you have to say it how you as a human being is feeling. You <laughs> get mm. so people can relate to it. Not oh, let me just. I mean, there's some people that get away with the writing thing. No disrespect to them. But for me, it's just off the top now. And I just say what I want, what I feel in my heart or what, I, what I'm experiencing. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so we try to flow. If the flow is nice, we keep it. <laughs> yeah. like I have, I've had songs that I've, I've recorded three or four different things on top one beats. <laughs> yeah. and, all. and I believe there's so many artists that are like that because they want it to be perfect or something. But... Of course, for of recent, it's not been like that for me. It's just if I hear a beat and I try a flow, it works. That's what we're doing. Just lay it down. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Now, 2023, bro. Mm. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the master plan? 2023, the same plan, man. You know, I, I always say pink, I'm pinky and the brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so it's like, same plan. Take over the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So we're taking over the world, of course. coming out this year? Definitely. Every year, from, as a matter of fact, every year until I quit this music thing, <laughs> There's gonna be projects coming from me unless somebody stop me, but nobody can stop me. So there's gonna be projects every year. Um, I don't know if it's an album or an EP. I'm still trying to decide, but definitely the project's even ready, bro. <laughs> it's been ready. Yes, yeah, it's been ready. Um, so um, of course I want to tour the world this year. I always tour the world. <laughs> I'm touring the world like a proper scales tour world. I'm gonna do that by God's grace. Hopefully this summer, and um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> gotcha. Do you, do you have the US part sorted out? Or do you need me to... Bro, I saw it to help. bro let's do mule, business. Mule, I'm mule, always you know. ready for business. I never say never. My guy. Never say never, bro. My guy. <laughs> All right, man. Um, what are you voting for? Well, um, you know, this election thing, I, I'm trying my best to stay away from it because there's a lot of mixed emotions who appears, and stuff. Who appears to be... The right guy. My brother, you still want me to say this thing? <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm asking so, you this question. Of course, we all know who we're going to vote for. I'm not going to call the name. We all know who's the brightest of them all. Who's the I, I don't know. Your right is not my right. My brother, who's more healthier? Who is more younger? Who is more... <laughs> I have, I have. Who's more... Who talks more... I have somebody and it's not the guy you're thinking. Okay, who talks more intelligent? Who talks more articulated? Not... not definitely not that guy. That, <laughs> <laughs> so, but... What I mean is... So, essentially, you are trying to say Peter Obi without saying Peter Obi. I was the one who said it. He, he, go, he has one of the uh, Jesus' disciples' names, so you already know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Exactly. <laughs> Moving uh, forward. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Moving forward. How about Shore? What do you think? He's, he's, a const- he's contesting. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't know he was contesting. I used to think he just used to have problems with government. <laughs> are you for real? I don't know. I'm not a fan, though, but I don't know. I really don't know. I need, maybe now I need to go check him out. Bro, bro, I just feel like I've seen some things and I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't trust no politician. <laughs> I don't. Same. I don't trust anybody. But the closest to, to the person we get normalcy, says, yeah. we all know. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Got you. Not, pe- Got you. not like others don't have sense, but what I mean in this context is sense as in this person is trying to help this nation, not different lies that we hear every time that... Bro, I don't even understand how you lie. Like, it's so quite. Bro, let me just. I don't want to go into politics, but I just want to say this last thing. Yes. I don't like. I'm not a fan of Nigerian politicians because, bro, how is a party. Like, let me not say a party because I don't want no beefs. Because, like yes. I said, this politics thing, I stay yes. away from it. It's yes. not my business. But why would people be campaigning when this country is falling apart? What I mean is. Come on, fuel. Can you see what's happening? This used to happen when I was a kid. And we're back there again, <laughs> bro. Thank you very much. That's I said this <laughs> yesterday. I'm telling you, bro. And then there's a Naira note. The Naira notes. That they changed. I'm on it. I don't even know, man, bro. I still, I'm like, this it country. Even like, like poster, even like water color. This country, you <laughs> just, like any, any Nigerian that you see, yeah. you have to just respect them because, bro. Survival. Destiny. Bro, we are, we are survivors, bro. Because I don't know how. 
we are doing this, man. And we are still glowing, but shining, laughing. Like it's nothing. Bro, this is... On a, this thing happened in another country. And this whole country... The whole the, country the stopped. Everything will stop. <laughs> you see, America all. just come on how many days where they don't get fuel. Bruh. Hey. I see <laughs> this thing they happen for Nigeria. This one says, Philistine yeah. should go get fuel. He go say, they know they sell you. Yes, sir. America, no sell you. Bro, it's their rights. They can sue you for that. <laughs> Bruh. Thank you so much for coming appreciate, through. Man, appreciate, man. Appreciate. As always, guys... We're about to experience something amazing. I mean, live performance section, um, skills, live at Echo Room. Can't wait for you to enjoy this. Let's go, baby. No matter what them say, Kuni Baje. I'm fresh to death, Kuni Baje. Yes, y'all. My name is S to the K A L E S Skills. And I'm live here at Echo Room. Like, share, and subscribe. Kuni Baje. Let's go. Mm -hmm.